Hey everybody and welcome back. My name is Sue and I'm from OML Embroidery and over at the computer is Dawn. Hello. 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 So today is on the house. Look yeah, at that. The house. On the house. It's really cute and I have some ideas for you guys. I think it'll be awesome. Chris Yost, good morning. Leah, good morning. Jill Scarsbrook, welcome back. Glad you're doing better. Judy Quilt, thinking of Mr. Quilt, and hopefully he's doing well. Elizabeth Bragan, hello. Shannon, hello. <laughs> welcome all. New people, comment and uh, give yourself a shout out, and everyone is always happy to talk to new people. I think it's awesome. So welcome everyone. And good morning to everyone. Oh, I see Mama Brown's here. Hi, hi, she Mom. Hi, she Mom. Said she might sleep in. Oh, <laughs> oh no, she's up. Right. Hi, Mom. Everyone can say hello. <laughs> Lorelai says good morning. Good morning. So we had a whole ton of rain and thunder and lightning last night, but it is beautiful out now. So. We're going to enjoy that. It was just terrible last night, though. My goodness. My goodness. I saw everyone talking about the weather and whatnot. So, yeah, hopefully everyone has a lovely day. But, 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 um, I couldn't find the post on Facebook, so I just added it for others. Oh, thank you so much. I remember posting it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I saw it. Eh, but thank you. Yes, Dad, never fear about that. Post it as many times as you want. So before we get started, I want to show you guys. This is this week's uh, Easter Mylar from Dawn. Uh, really cute. I like the bunny. He's a cute bunny. I like the bunny. I see a boo-boo, though. It's not in the file. Okay. <laughs> me and my thanks for pointing that out. <laughs> you always do that to me. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I make this great big thing and he he zones in on like 10 stitches. You eh, started shut up. You're the one that taught me. Yeah, I know. I know. So anyways, this is awesome. I love it. Nice and sparkly, beautiful. Uh, this one isn't up yet, but this is something I was working on. Um, I haven't even fixed the edges or anything. I just thought it was kind of pretty. I thought a candle or something mm -hmm. in between. So I'll keep working on that. I like the size too, but I will make it smaller. So I couldn't think of a really good name for this one. So I just called it Swirls and Stripes. I just thought that was kind of um, uh, cool. You're looking too close, Sue. I have the eye for <laughs> it. I know, I know. Payback. So swirls and stripes, if you guys can come up with a better idea, post it in the OML Embroidery University Facebook group, uh, an idea for the name, and I'll give you the design for free. <laughs> because I just, I don't know, I've been really tired this week. It's just yeah. been a burnout week. But I love this design. So you can think, um, you could do it in ombres, you could do it in bright colors, the whole bit. I think it's um, uh, awesome. You need a mug rug with wedding bells. Yeah, true, true. So then, because of all the rain, look at this one. Spring is nature's way of saying let's party. So I want you guys to look at the party. Is that I still good? Love the, yeah, I love the way the variegated thread came out. Isn't that amazing? Now, I used my one of my favorites, anyways, bright colored variegated thread. But this uh, font is designed for variegated thread, and it looks stunning. So you can have a ton of fun of colors the whole bit. Uh, it's a lot of fun. I like, I used ombre no particular reason for it in the whole bit so yeah it's cool so spring is on its way this is the first of the spring mug rugs that i'm doing i'm sure there'll be lots more variegated thread judy says woot, woot. i know i love it 
Anything that I can design for variegated thread, I usually add that into the instructions. This is the perfect place for variegated thread because I know it'll work. So I love it. So those are up, everything except for the candle mat. I'm still working on that one. Um, I love it though. And if you guys notice, it is an ombre. So light, medium, dark, everything's a different color. So you can have a lot of fun with that. So these ones are up on the website and Don's Mylar's up on the website and uh, keep picking them up. I keep them nice and inexpensive. It helps support the uh, channel and hopefully get Don home full time. Because we miss them. Aww. No, I didn't say I miss you. We. Oh, I, I know. <laughs> Shannon says lava lamp mug wrap. Ooh, I actually have a lava lamp at my desk, at my other desk. I have a couple desks. So, yeah, cool. Cool. So, we're going to go over this in a minute, but I'm going to show you guys some ideas. Because the back of this is felt. Uh, which is awesome. Uh, this part is fabric. So I went digging through my stash and I found this Cricut felt. I got this directly from Cricut, but look at all the colors. Now we're going to experiment with it because I want to show you. It's different than regular felt. It's kind of stiff. What would you say this is like, feels like extra, like cutaway? thick cutaway yeah, not mesh like cutaway, yeah. yeah so i think it will hold its shape it's not as thick and as soft and as plush but wouldn't that be cool if you're making a whole bunch of these to pre-cut it yeah pre-cut the squares plop you could get them really done now we're going to be doing a uh single one but this is really easily put in a bigger hoop so yeah uh, I, I thought this would be cool. So they come in tons of different colors and they're really pretty. Um, they have a little bit of a sparkle to it. This is just something I picked up when they had one of their sails. I'm going to use this blue one. It's a little bit uh, see-through. You can maybe see that with this pink one. You can see the turquoise through it but I don't think it'll matter. So this is spring rain and this is a carousel sampler. So it's all basic main colors. And I ripped that one apart. I've made this is gorgeous, by the way, just saying, look at all these colors. So it's a nice way to get different colored felt. We will see. It's an embroidery experiment. We will see how well it works, if it works. Now, I wanted to tell you guys, I got this. I got this. This is the 10 spool stand for the Luminaire. And it's cool. I struggle with it a little bit, not because it's difficult to use, but be, because it's hard for me to get at it <laughs> because of the cameras and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to try it today. Um, I may have to shift back to the regular one just for the videos, but I'm going to try it today. But if you see me struggling, this is why it was 40% off at our local uh, quilt store. So yoink, I said, uh, and honestly, loading 10 spools is actually pretty cool. Pretty nice cool. Already on the go. I have that for my Stellaire. I love it. Um, yeah, it's kind of neat to, when I was making the flower candle mat, I loaded all these in and I just made a switcheroo and I thought, I mean, that's cool. Um, yeah, that's cool. That's that cool. cool yeah. yeah, I struggle, like I said, a little bit because I can't reach everything. Um, but I just thought I'd try, and it's a great idea. And if you can see in this little picture here, it just snaps on exactly like the cover does. Or in McDreamy, he had one with two like that. Uh, and it's easy to do. And uh, it's easy to set up and easy to use too. So we're going to try it for today. So 
lots of new things going on today. So this is the felt we're going to experiment with. And this is my fabric, just so you guys can see. It's going to look gorgeous together. However, I had a couple of shortcuts. I was going through my um, charm squares, and this is a fall one. So isn't that cool with just the words on it? You wouldn't have to stitch out flowers or anything like that if you can get it um, to sit properly. I just thought that was a good idea. And even like this wood with golden leaves in the back, I thought that was really pretty. Um, these ones are all fall ones. It's just an old thing and I've, I've used up most of it, but I like the wood in the background. Don't you think that would be cool, Don? Yeah. I think it would be awesome. Those are neat. Or you could do something big flowers. These are sunflowers. Uh, just the sunflowers and you could fussy fold it <laughs> once we get the size just to make one flower show up. I think that's a great use of charm squares. Then as I was reading through the entire bookmark is two and a half by two and a half. So talking about pre-cutting, that's the size of these babies. So I'm going to see at the end how this is going to fit and we'll see how this looks, this felt and uh, see, uh, cause I think pre-cutting it would be really cool. Okay. Let's take a quick go through of these. It may seem complicated, but it's not, it's not. Yeah, everyone hit the like button, please. Every little bit helps. We got to keep this going. We got to keep it going. So you could do it on the small hoop. That's what I'm doing today. And it's tear away that you're using and you're not using anything for the felt. Believe it or not, true story, no stabilizer, which um, is cool. It's going to make it faster. Now you can see here, that she is doing multiple. So you could literally fill up the hoop and sort your colors and make a whole bunch of them. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be doing that because um, apparently my kids don't have any. So Cindy King, hello. I just saw your name there. Hello. Hello. Um, so hoop the stabilizer and the fabric. Uh, I got to fix that then. And then we're going to stitch all this out. Then you take it out of the hoop and you take a rotary color cutter and a ruler and cut it right, just right off the line. You can see here that they don't show and fold it in half and probably iron it. I'm not going to be doing either of those things today because I don't have enough room here. And then we're going to hoop the felt, which actually having a hoop like that is perfect. I may oh, switch over. Yeah. I may switch over just for the heck of it, um, the magnetic hoop, and then you won't, um, then you won't like uh, dent the felt. Remember that stuff's kind of stiff, and it's going to give you a guideline, and you're going to put it down, and it's going to stitch it down, and then it's going to do blanket stitch, and that's it. That's it. That's absolutely it. Um, I think it's good. We'll experiment. I'll get another hoop out. I'm going to bring my hoop back here because it said to hoop them together, right? Oh, placemat. I love it. I keep it at my desk. I love the colors. It's not going to move much because I'm on a four. Yeah, thanks though. So there we go. Hoop them together. Isn't my four by four hoop cute. I so rarely use it, but this one would be perfect for multiples, especially if you, um, pre-cut everything. So there we go. We're hooped and we're just doing one. So let's, uh, let's, uh, head on over to the machine, Don. I have my Bob and police already taken care of. Thank you very much. I got a full bomb and I had to change it. I'm going to use black thread so everybody can see everything that we're doing. And this really isn't going to take long at all. So um, 
matching thread would look better but if i did that you guys wouldn't be able to see it so we don't want to do that for sure so black it is and you can see it so the first step is the fold line so that's going to be where we fold it at the end and i would have changed it i didn't look carefully enough apparently uh, let's see. Okay. Time for struggle. Perhaps get rid of the black, grab the green. I'm getting used to it. Actually, it's a lot easier from this angle. Um, just, I'm getting used to it. I love having 10 spools of thread. I loaded the variegated and all that stuff on it. I was like, yeah, let's go. All right. So we are going to do the leaves and the vines. Is Isabel's all sad that they're unemployed now because you did their job. Um, I'll forget <laughs> sometimes, guaranteed. I thought that was good. I was being efficient. Very efficient. I kept forgetting and running out, so I thought I'd better be good. So I keep the patch here at the desk, um, just right, like, here. <laughs> so it reminds me. And I'm going to use my pointy awl from Clover to hold the piece down, hopefully. Hopefully. So I'm interested to see if this felt is going to work well enough. Because it is, it is kind of different. Uh, I only have, I have limited quantities of hoops here of my favorite hoops. I wish I had one of each. Can that be a goal? I want one um, monster hoop from Dime for every size. I have the big, big, I have the 8x14, and I have the 8x8. Um, I do have a 5x7, the brother one, but goodness. I'm not going to use it. It, it takes too long. I would like a 10 by 10 too, because I find that hoop unruly. It's unruly. That's a good word for it. Unruly. Hard to, it's hard to close everything and do everything. It's annoying. All right. So while we were chatting there, I actually uh, set up my hoop. And it's going to be a little design <laughs> in a big hoop, but we can, like, pretend that we're doing a whole bunch. I just don't have a small enough hoop. Breaking the rules. What are the rules? Do you remember the rules, Don? Stitch on the smallest hoop that yeah. you can for best results. But I'm not doing that Did today. Yes. Jennifer says the 10 by 10 would be nice. Yeah, I know for sure. Okay, color change. Struggle, struggle. That's not too bad. Pull the thread in the direction it's meant to go so you don't change anything. And I'm going to do bright yellow flowers. I thought that would be pretty. Bright yellow. Um... I had to take, he's right here, but I did have to take him off the machine because he kept getting kidnapped. <laughs> and he's... He looks like he's been playing outside. <laughs> yes. He, yes, apparently Tank or Beetlejuice uh, steals him. He's, he's got a little worse for the wear. So I do keep him close to my desk, but not where anybody can reach them. So, yes, Bjorn is doing a beautiful job helping. Thanks, Bjorn. What are you laughing at? <laughs> well, yeah, didn't you find Bjorn? You found him outside and went, hey, like, oh, that's awesome. Yeah, they like him. I, I uh, have... Uh, one of the what is it springtime party ones and i did the lettering smaller and i didn't like it so i finished it just so i could give it to beetlejuice to play with when the when the live's dumb <laughs> fur babies for fur babies not within doggy reach yeah we have a treeing walker coonhound 
and I've had dash hounds my whole life, so I still underestimate tank. So treeing means that they put their front paws up on a tree, and he's, is he as tall as you when he trees, Don? Um, tank. Pretty close. Pretty close. Yeah, pretty close. So, yeah. Pray for Bjorn. <laughs> Bjorn safe. I keep him safe. My poor Bjorn. My poor Bjorn. So what a cute little delicate design this is. I'm glad I did yellow flowers. It is a beautiful. And we just have one more step. So if you can picture this going on, I think you could actually put a name in there instead of the flowers. I'm going to try that. I think that would be really nice too. So, all right, we just have the last step. Now, this is our cutting line. So, best to have a uh, ro nice sharp rotary cutter and then um, a ruler and do it that way. I don't have enough room, so I'm going to wing it. It's not going to be quite as nice. But, you know, do the best we can with what we've got, right? Happy music! All right, Don, let's go back to the desk. And if you're doing a whole bunch of these, this would be easy. So last for that. So I don't have my tulip pinks. I do have them. I don't have a rotary cutter and stuff there. So yeah, I'm just going to wing it and... You want to cut when you're placing the ruler, you want to cut on this side of the line because we don't want the line to show. So I'm pretty good at cutting, so I'm just going to, you know, be really careful. Take your time. Rotary cutter would be better. If I was doing a whole bunch of them, I'd have my rotary cutter and my Sue Daly turntable cutter which is really nice. It's made for, designed for uh, English paper piecing, but of course you can use it for absolutely anything and it's really nice. I like it. But that is upstairs for doing my butterfly. So yeah, not as perfect as it would be, but you can see I'm cutting off all the lines. So yeah, it's quite tiny, isn't it? It's going to be perfect. My girls have already uh, requested some. So you can uh, probably take off the um, tear away, tear it away. I'm going to leave it for now because it's live and you know, and we could, um, let's see how easy it is to do. Oh, good thing you put my picker back. You can either have this line show or don't have it. So whatever you prefer, I don't think they look like they're big stitches. So I don't think it's too hard to pick. This is how I do it. Cause I really don't want the black to show, you know, I don't, I don't think it should. So yeah, that's pretty easy to do. If you did like a nice blue, I think that would be fine to leave it should only take a minute I may not even be able to do it perfectly so everyone following along so far super easy and uh, pretty much designed for multiples just you know let it run bigger hoop let it run yeah, why not? Um, and um, again if if that uh, cricket stuff works then that'll be uh, Perfect for pre-cut. Tracy says your scissors are a pretty color. I love my tulip pink scissors. It's and they work well. Titanium? I think so. I think, uh, you know, tulip, color. tulip pink. I keep seeing her new stuff is out. Um, her new um, line of oh, yeah. fabric. Oh, it is something. I've seen different quilts. I'm like, man... My favorite is still the Queen of Diamonds, but that's unattainable for me. Okay, so 
fold it in half, take your tear away off and fold it in half like this. Um, and then we are going to, would be really good if you ironed it, I think. Uh, but I don't have that either. So I'm just going to do a really good pressing. I already have my felt loaded. No stabilizer on my felt. And I'm going to leave the yellow thread in because I think that's going to be cool. So hopefully that's going to stay. And I wanted to see how that it's a bit bigger. It's a bit bigger. Maybe it'll work out. Okay, back to the machine, Don. I've got a couple things to stitch. And we've got to change design, so we're going to go to number two. And I can't get my network to work on Captain Jack, I guess because I was going to rename him. So I have to do the USB thing, and I'm not happy about it. So if I'm grumbling, that would be why. So I'm just going to leave it where it is. Um, you could multiply it. You could do everything. Hopefully the yellow is going to show up. Ooh, we have to hook the hoop in. There we go. Um, yes. All right. So what we're going to get is the placement line. So for sure. Shannon's asking if you saw the uh, email from Missouri Star today. I may have, and I may have accidentally on purpose not looked any further because I just got a big shopping spree back from them. But anyways, yeah, it's probably good. I know. So we've got a corner, and what we want is this to fit right in, and it does. So the folded edge goes here because that's what's going to go around the book. Now, this is where you probably need to be careful. Um, Eileen Roche doesn't think that the tape will hold, uh, but I'm going to try it because today is all about experiments. I'm not going to put the tape where it's stitching, the beautiful outside stitches. I'm going to put it right here. Just It's not going to stitch right there just to maybe help it. And I have my awl to hold everything down. We're going to do a blanket stitch. I'm going to leave it in yellow. Keep your fingers out of the way and be careful. See how hard it is to do. Nope, not hard at all. Just be careful. Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. That covered it up perfectly. All right, so I didn't have too many troubles with it moving. <laughs> and we're done. Let's see how the felt looks. I'm so excited if we can pre-cut the felt. I think that would be awesome. So that looks really good. That's really good. So back to the dust, Don. I'm going to pop this out, Ugh. pop it out, and I kind of did it haphazardly here, but you can, I'm going to put this on my Cricut to cut it, and you want to cut close to the line here, but not right on the line, not, not right on the line, for sure. I think the Cricut stuff is perfect. If you don't have it, of course, use regular felt. It's still going to look good. But I like, uh, right now, I like how it's holding everything together. Yeah, I like how it's a little stiffer. It's a little it's stiffer. Be, it's nice a little see-through. I think it's probably perfect for this. I guess I could cut that. Oh, didn't realize I was that far off man uh if you're good with a rotary cutter this would be really a good time to do it but i like having a little bit of the edge off of it uh to make it even more perfect you could use uh same matching on the background so that's awesome i'm pretty happy with that what do you think don 
Yeah. And you put the corner there, trim it off. That is super easy to do. And the flowers are so delicate. What a great little project. Does it work out to be a two and a half inch square? I think I'm going to pull one of these guys out. Good question. Yes. Okay. I'll take that. We've got to do this first. It does. It does. So, so you can use. You could use. That is awesome. This is what I was thinking. So, yes. Yes, yes, yes. That's the mini charm squares? Yep. Mini charm squares. Perfect. So that's another shortcut. Jill, thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Every little bit helps. You don't have to cut. You just fold this guy in half. Well, you'd stitch it, you know, full out. Yeah. Fold it in half. It's already done. Oh, you can make a beautiful array of them, too. Yeah, they've Look. got nice patterns on them. You just, you don't stitch the flowers, and it's makes yeah. it really quick. Oh, yeah, because this, I would be tempted to leave this. It's oh, such yeah. a pretty design right there. Just iron them so they're nice and flat. Skip the whole first part yeah. and just stitch it on this. That's awesome. So let's see how it looks. This is my newest Welsh quilting book, which is stunning. I love this. But let's see. I want to hold my place right here. And let's see. Yeah. Isn't that nice? It's perfect. I think that's perfect. You could put it. It's thick enough. Yes, it is. Right so there. that felt works out good. That felt works out really well. I am happy with that. Work with what you have. It's just a great idea. I think it's um, done. So it can be done on a 4x4. Four four. Yeah, that's what I did. That's what I did. I used my 4x4 four four hoop. And I used uh, tearaway. And for the felt, I didn't use any any stabilizer any anything this stuff is really kind of thick so isabel thank you thank you so um i love it you could put like a word here if you wanted there's so much we could do so that was actually easier than i thought don't you think that's yeah. like super and of course some shortcuts uh, I'm never, I'm never afraid of shortcuts. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. This apparently will work. So I'm, I'm going to do some this way and I will, um, post the results, but I think just the flowers, I'm thinking plaid, lots of plaid. That's pretty. Okay. So there you go. There you go. Mini charm squares. Cricket felt and I make a bookmark super quick, super quick, beyond super quick. So, a monogram might look nice, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, thank you for another great demo. You make it so simple, and I love doing experiments, so I'm super happy with how everything turned out. I thought I would have a hard time on the edges but it just stayed where it belonged and i think that's awesome so yeah i'm gonna um make a whole bunch of these because that was super easy and both my kids want them so um i'm gonna keep this one for my welsh book though because mm -hmm. i like it and um wow fun so get making them it's free go to d, d z or z gns.com it's free there's a link in the description as always and check it out don't be afraid to try something new What's it worked just fine Do you know? this one yeah. um happiness blooms by d strain and i also have sun washed which I think also would be perfect. Look, Don. Very nice. Oh, you yeah. know, if you put fusible on the back and fuse two of them, you could just use these, fold it in half, and instead of felt, use that. 
That's another yeah. idea. So that one's cute too. And I have one more, I think. Yes, I do. Clover Blossom Farm. Ooh. Yeah, this is a place to put big, ugly, gaudy flowers or little ones. These, these are, all three of these are perfect. I love it. I think I have a violet one, but I don't think it's right here. So, shortcuts. Yes, please. Five inch on your, on your four inch hoop. That's perfect with a nice print in the background. It's awesome. So get stitching. Make sure you post um, any ideas that you have and all your colors and uh, post it in the OML Embroidery University Facebook group. This is a really fun little project. I really enjoyed doing it. Lynn, you need to make some, right? For sure. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone. Bye. Oh, I like to cheat.